5R, Jesus Christ. Uh, one of these days I'm going to get it right. The Geo R5, uh, I don't have one of those yet, but I was able to shoot one the other day and actually kind of fondled one. Uh, so we're just going to let uh, these clips uh, play, uh, and I'm going to talk about the thing. So actually, you know what I want to, the first thing that I really noticed, we'll put these on a little bit better, is, dude, the front foregrip, it's like, What's really odd about this is I feel that like when the Geo 4 came out, uh, the Geo 4 was out and the Geo 4 was essentially the same size pretty much as a CS1. So that rear trigger frame, the rear grip was kind of big uh, and the front foregrip was exactly the same foregrip as the CS1. So uh, it essentially felt very, very similar in the hands. And the thing that I noticed right away when I picked this thing up was just how different it feels from almost all of the Planet Eclipse guns, right? I think that it's going to feel very similar in some of these places, like the rear trigger frame uh, is going to feel very similar to the CS3. I mean, it's practically, it's literally the exact same trigger frame, right? So if you're just holding it in your hands, you know, blindfolded or eyes closed, you're not going to notice the difference. But that front foregrip is huge. I mean, it's crazy how big that foregrip feels. Uh, mainly because it's the exact same size uh, as the Geo 4 and that CS1 foregrip. But the rear trigger frame has gotten so much smaller, you can really kind of feel the discrepancy or the difference between that foregrip uh, and the trigger frame. I don't think it's too big but it's certainly much larger feeling in your hands uh, than the CS3. Uh, it's bigger than, you know, the CS2. It feels bigger than the EMAC or the 180R. Uh, the LV2, though, feels about the same uh, on that foregrip. And these are longer, so it's about, I don't know, it's about that much longer, maybe like a quarter of an inch or something like that. It's a little noticeable, but I don't think that you're going to pick it up and think it's like way longer or anything like that. Uh, it, it's going to still feel about the same length as we've been used to for the past few years with all the guns. Uh, I like it. I mean, I didn't really think I would like this. Uh, I definitely do. Uh, I think that it feels good in my hands. It looks really streamlined in person. It just looks super slick and clean in person. Uh, I think that's mainly because they got rid of those eye covers. So there's no eye covers on these, like the CS3. And it's just, like, really clean. Like, in person, it just looks, like, smooth and, like, clean. I don't really know how to explain that. I think it just looks kind of, like, better uh, a little bit than the CS3. Whether it shoots any better, I don't know. Um... I did say I shot it, but I didn't actually shoot it. We just put like air through it and I didn't actually shoot paint through it because we're not actually supposed to shoot it yet. And who knows if I'm supposed to talk about it. <laughs> um, but shooting like we, we put air on the CS3 and put air on a on the five, no, the R5. And I mean, obviously without paint, you're just shooting air. It's not really telling you much. Uh, but I definitely noticed that like, I feel like it still sounds like a Geo, so it still has that same, like, uh, kind of sound and sort of feel as the Geo. Uh, from the people that I've, the people that have shot the gun, they say it shoots very similar uh, to that 3.5 or, like, if you had a GSL or something like that. So, apparently it's quite a bit better uh, shooting-wise than the Geo 4. I didn't really like my Geo 4. I don't really know why uh, it was so different uh, shooting, but I like it. Uh, it's kind of cool where they move that SFR, that solenoid flow restrictor tourney deal. It's in the actual trigger frame now, which is good and bad. I mean, most people aren't uh, really ever adjusting those. They might adjust it once and kind of leave it. You're not like, you know, tweaking it every single time you play. Uh, but it's definitely going to make it a little bit harder to, uh, if you want to like, you know, maybe mess with the settings a little bit uh, or whatever. Something like that. What are people saying? That the HK Geo 4? Nope, I don't know. Nope, that's the fucking R5. God damn, it takes me forever. It takes me so long. Uh, under NDA, I'm definitely not, but uh, the person that had this gun, I don't think they were supposed to like 
we, they weren't supposed to like uh, take video of it or anything. They didn't tell me not to talk about it. So it's not like that. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> we definitely weren't supposed to take video and pictures of it. That's why there's no videos and pictures of it. Let's put this up. I do like it though. You know, I, I, I was so shocked. I really like the eye covers. That whole like new, not eye cover, but this whole new like eye retention system or whatever. I really do like. Uh, it just feels kind of clean and simple to me right there. Uh, it's really cool. I like it. I hope that they, uh, in the future, totally ditch eye covers in general and just go with this. I I much prefer this kind of like dealio. Ben, how does it feel? How does it feel like the 3.5 and not the 4 when they both had the IV cord? That's what I don't know, right? That's why I'm like, I don't know, dude. I, my, my Geo 4 just didn't shoot well. Uh, and I've shot other Geo4s that just didn't shoot well. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure why, honestly. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I really don't. Because <laughs> it really is like almost the exact same gun, so. Ben said, so does the LV, so does the front grip like the, feel like the LV2 then? Seems wider than the CS3 or CS2s. Um... So certainly like, uh, let's go back. So for sure the grip is like, like if I'm holding the gun like pointed at you, right? The LV2 is definitely narrower. Uh, so this grip is definitely wider. Like from the front, if you're holding it, it's going to feel wider. Uh, but it's not like as long, right? So it does feel uh, maybe a little bit more round uh, than the LV2. The LV2, you know, it's kind of like got that little, like, feels a little bit flat. It's got kind of like that weird, flattish trigger. 